hello everyone uh, in this lecture I will tell you that how you can create a plot in MATLAB so uh, what I will do is I will create a script I will save it as I have told you in the previous lecture I'm going to uh, plot build plot in Uh, let me tell you one thing that uh, when I have stored when I have saved this uh, MATLAB script with a name build plot so it execute properly but if I save a script with some name like uh, the name start with the uh, integer value or some uh, type of number then what will happen is there is an error I can you cannot save any script with the name it start with a number so remember this thing now there is another uh, mistake which commonly people do is that they create a script and then they save that script with a name where there is a space within the uh, within the name so MATLAB will give you error if you do things like that some people uh, build a script and what type of mistake they do is they create a script they save it with the with some keyword like plot is a keyword it is a function in the MATLAB library if I save a file with the built-in function or the keyword then it will be a problem for me in the future because the original library function will not get executed and it will uh, understand that some sort of script which is near to the original function uh, is the actual file uh, it is the actual keyword so do not commit such mistake always save a file with some name uh, that is not a keyword save it with some name with no any space in between the names values and uh, there should be no any integer or some stuffs like that at the start of the uh, script name now I will tell you that how you can create a plot in my life I'm going to 0.1 into 100 so this is an independent variable and y is equal to sine of x and I'm going to write plot x comma y and I execute it I get a plot so this is the plot I'm going to remove two steric point from zero to point. So this is the plot. I'm going to extend it up to four point. Now you can see the there are a few uh, sort of things uh, mentioned over here the first thing is that there is an x-axis the second is y-axis the third is that the color of the line you can change all these parameters like if I write x comma y into g so it will create a plot with the line color is green 
Now the color of the line is green. Now if I write R over here, it will create a red plot. If I write K, the color will be black. If I write M, the color will be magenta. So there are many modifications you can do with your plot. Now when I execute the plot, you will see that there is an x-axis and there is an y-axis and there is no any title over here. So I am going to include the x label is x-axis and a y label is y-axis. Now you can see that the X and Y label have been attached with the plot. Now I want to create a title. Plot of X vs Y. Now you can see a title has created. You can also switch on the grid. You can see the grid have been uh, switched on. We can create another plot z is equal to uh, exponential of x divided by 5 and I'm going to plot x comma z with a green color Now you can see that the first plot have been over, over written. I will write hold on. Now you will see both plots at one within one figure. I'm going to change the zero point. 001 steric now you can see that both of them have been plotted in the same sort of thing sort of figure you can change the values whatever I like now both plots have been on the same figure but no one knows that which plot represents what thing I want to include some more thing like W is equal to uh, tangent of 10 X and I execute it plot of x comma w comma red now you can see that there are three plots within the same uh, let me remove this one and let me change the value of the parameter over here now you can see that both of them have been plotted within the cause uh, I have removed the 
function z now you can see there are two different trigonometric functions that have been plotted over here but you cannot uh, understand that which function represent which trigonometric uh, equation expression like one is the cos and the other is fine sine function so you need to uh, switch on the legend The first plot is a cause function, and the second is the sine function. <laughs> 